Welcome to the Paris Marathon. This is not only a marathon, this is a story that you have to live. Hi everybody, we're Alex and Radu and you're watching Discover the World through its marathons, the documentary that will show you Paris as you never saw it before. Sports, culture and history in a journey that you never imagined. Watch this and you'll fall in love with this amazing city, the city of light. the world's most beautiful avenue. Behind us we have the Arch of Triumph, commissioned by Napoleon. It's the biggest arch in the world and it lies in the same line with the Arch of Defense in the back and another arch in front of Museum de Louvre. Beneath the arch lies the tomb of the unknown soldier and every day the flame is rekindled at 6.30 p.m. And we are heading to Place de la Concorde. This is a two kilometers street well known in the world for its stores, restaurants and nightlife. The best thing today is that we have Charles de Lisier for ourselves. Woo! First thing in the race is the Luxor obelisk in Place de la Concorde. This is an Egyptian obelisk dating 3,300 years ago. And also here you can see the big ferry wheel which offers you a great sight over Paris. Another interesting fact about Place de la Concorde is that here used to be an execution site during the French Revolution. Welcome to Louvre, the most... Louvre. You have to say it in French. How, how is it? Louvre. Louvre. I Louvre. Tried, I, I Louvre. Yeah. This is by far the most important museum in France. Uh, it contains more than 35,000 works of art and it, it weighs to be discovered and rediscovered uh, every time you visit Paris. It's so big you can do a marathon inside. It will take almost a week to visit every room inside. And you can also find important art pieces like Mona Lisa, Venus de Milo. This is Hotel Ville du Paris. This is the place where the city council lies from 1357. A lot of a lot of years ago, yeah. <laughs> and on the back you can see the Notre Dame Cathedral, but we're gonna talk about it later. You can hear the bells now. <laughs> Place de la Bastille and the Genie de Liberté commemorates the 1830 revolution and it also marks the place where the Bastille prison was, a symbol of the ancient regi regime. The Place de la Bastille is also a great area for cultural events that are held all over this place. Plus we had a great coffee just over there. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> marathon course takes us to the two green lungs of the city Bois de Vincent and Bois de Boulogne at the end of the race this is the beautiful Parc Floral of Bois de Vincent uh, this is a great place where you should come and discover by foot or by bike a lot of things happen here including the Paris Jazz Festival in Bois de Vincent. On the side of the course you'll find Chateau de Vincent. This is the only fortified castle around Paris and this one used to be a royal residence. Running in Bois de Vincent is so beautiful and relaxing. All of these trees around you and this silent but yet very beautiful atmosphere. There's no wonder so many people come here day by day to enjoy this beautiful park. The 
most refreshing point on the course so far. During the race, don't forget to stop and take your supplements that you need <laughs> in order to finish the race with good energy. Did you know that Isostar created a competition called Run Europe with Isostar? Almost 4,000 people from Europe joined this challenge and ran together more than 42,000 kilometers in order to win uh, entrance to the Paris Marathon and other major races in Europe. By the way, the Romanian runners ranked second in this challenge. Uh, we got out of Parc de Vincent. That was a very refreshing part of the course. And now we are heading to the city center where we are going to find Cathedral de Notre Dame, to Raphael and so many other amazing things in Paris. The atmosphere created by the Parisian artist is absolutely fantastic. At the 22nd kilometer, we are again at Place de Bastille, maybe now for a better view. This is the part of the course that we were waiting for, running next to the scene. It's spectacular. It's something that you have to do at least once in your lifetime. Everything looks so perfect and beautiful. All the runners over here and there behind us, it's Cathedral de Notre Dame, the most visited landmark in France. Yeah, yeah. the cathedral celebrated 850 years of existence. You need to go there to admire the beautiful architecture, the famous gargoyles. Another interesting fact about Cathedral de Notre Dame is that all distances in France are calculated from point zero, which is in front of the cathedral. A short detour from the marathon course, we are here to show you Grand Palais, a great place, a great monument in Paris that was built for the 1900 World Exhibition, right? Yeah. It comprised three major sites, the Nav, the National Galleries and the Palace de la Couverte. If you visit Paris and you're in some mood for modern art, this is the Museum of Modern Art of Paris. Flying blue running! Yeah. Air France, the sponsor of the Paris Marathon, does a very cool things. So you can change your travel miles into marathon bibs and run races all around the world. We reach the beautiful Trocadero Gardens. They will also build for an international exhibition as well as the Tour de Fell behind of us. This is absolutely spectacular. Co people come here to eat a picnic, to drink a little bit of French wine and enjoy the friendly atmosphere. We are here at Tour de Fell, the iconic monument of Paris, more than 300 meters tall and the top place to go and see Paris. You need to go up there. Don't take the stairs on the day before the marathon like we did. <laughs> but you have to go there for a breathtaking view over this amazing city. You know how much does it weigh? 10,000 tons, like you do. Bonjour France. There's no wonder that everybody calls it la plus belle ville du monde. The boulangerie is like a religion in France. You will find the greatest patisserie in the world. <laughs> and there are thousands of boulangeries in Paris 
that you have to enjoy grab a croissant and eat it on the corner of the street while drinking a coffee anywhere you go in Paris you will find wonderful architecture and amazing buildings Running a marathon at more than 25 degrees Celsius is no easy job. That's why you have to take the correct supplements. We are taking a live from Secom Romania, our partner for this episode. We entered the other green lung of the city, Bois du Boulogne, that's in the western part of Paris. And this is a beautiful park where people come to have a picnic, to sunbath, to enjoy this beautiful lake. You can even go with a little boat on this lake and sail. This is a top destination for weekends for tourists and locals. This park is also a former hunting ground for the kings of France. Today it's been a very, very hot day. We got really tan. I don't know if it shows. <laughs> and we are grateful to spend some time now in the parks of Paris where it's a lot of shade and it's a bit cooler. In Bois de Boulogne we find Fondation Louis Vuitton, which is hard to describe in words, right? It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Uh, it's made by American architect Frank Gehry and everybody says that he revolutionized the way glass is used in construction. So this is something that you really have to visit in Paris. This is the perfect combination in architecture. Light, glass and water. One of the best things we discovered during the last year is a French brand called Magimix. Here's the story. Magimix was founded more than 40 years ago in the region of Burgundy. Their biggest achievement is that they made the kitchen robot uh, and they produced more than 10 million units until now. The kitchen robot is now present in so many kitchens all around the world. And for sports, we use the Magimix blender which creates the best smoothies that we ever had. If you come to run the Paris Marathon, you really have to taste the French cuisine, which is great. Take my eyes off it. It's so phenomenally. More like the way we rock it. So don't stop. I'm not alive. You are watching the 12th episode of Discover the World Through Its Marathon, the documentary that we make in order to inspire people from all around the world to start running and enjoy new places and new culture. Check our YouTube channel 321 Sport to see the episodes from Beijing, Tokyo, Athens, Vienna and many others in the world. This is the finish of the Paris Marathon, a fantastic race in the heart of France. Woo! Woo! We are extremely proud to have shown you the Paris Marathon, which is a fabulous race in France. You should do it either if you're a first time finisher or you're an experienced marathoner. Here you will find thousands of people cheering on the streets, a great atmosphere on the marathon course and also everything beautiful that France has to offer. There's a saying, the French people do it better. They do it and this was fantastic. Many thanks to our sponsors and partners of this episode. It was Alex, she's very tired after the race and Radu thank you very much for watching discover the world through its marathons go to running enjoy sports and be friends with everybody through sports